Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Basics. For more videos please subscribe, Civil Engineering Basics. Hello friends. This is the part 2 of requirements of building parts video. Let's start. In this lecture we will discuss about building parts and its requirements. Building parts are plinth, habitable rooms, kitchen, bathrooms and water closets, ledge or and slash loft, mezzanine floor, storeroom, garage, basement, chimneys, parapet, boundary wall, septic tank, office come letter box room, meter room, Staircase slash exit requirements. Roof. We will see requirements of ledge or and. First of all, understand what is ledge means. Ledge is a shelf like projection, supported in any manner whatsoever except by means of vertical supports within a room itself but not having projection wider than 1 meter. Height requirement of ledges. The minimum headroom of ledge or and loft shall be 2.2 meter. The maximum height of loft shall be 1.5 meter. Let's see the size requirement of ledge. A ledge or and loft in a habitable room shall not cover more than 25% of the area of the floor on which it is constructed and shall not interfere with the ventilation of the room under any circumstances. We will now see requirements of mezzanine floor. First of all understand what is mezzanine floor means. Mezzanine floor is an intermediate floor between two floors of any story forming an integral part of floor below. Height requirement of mezzanine floor is. It shall have a minimum height of 2.2 meter. Let's see the size requirement of mezzanine floor. The minimum size of the mezzanine floor, if it is to be used as a living room, shall not be less than 9.5 square meter. The aggregate area of such mezzanine floor in a building shall in no case exceed one third the plinth area of their building. Now let's see the other requirement of mezzanine floor. A mezzanine floor may be permitted over a room or a compartment provided. It can form to the standard of living rooms as regards lighting and ventilation in case the size of mezzanine floor is 9.5 square meter or more. It is so constructed as not to interfere under any circumstances with the ventilation of the space over and under it. Such mezzanine floor is not subdivided into smaller compartments. Such mezzanine floor or any part of it shall not be used as a kitchen, and in no case shall a mezzanine floor be closed so as to make it liable to be converted into unventilated compartments. We will now see requirements of storeroom. The height of a storeroom shall be not less than 2.2 meter. The size of a storeroom, where provided in a residential building, shall be not less than 3 square meter. These two is the requirements of storeroom.
We will now see requirements of garage. The height of a garage shall be not less than 2.4 meter. The size of garages shall be as below. If garage provided as private garage then size would be 3.0 meter by 6.0 meter, minimum, and. And if as public garage then based on the number of vehicles parked. We will now see requirements of basement. First requirement of basement is, the basement shall not be used for residential purposes. Second requirement is, the construction of the basement shall be allowed by the authority in accordance with the land use and other provisions specified under the development control rules. Third requirement is, use of basement is limited to storage of households, other good storage bank cellars, air conditioning equipment, and parking space. Other requirements of basement are Every basement shall be in every part at least 2.4 meter in height from the floor to the underside of the roof, slab or ceiling. Adequate ventilation shall be provided for the basement. The ventilation requirements shall be the same as required by the particular occupancy according to bylaws. Any deficiency may be met by providing adequate mechanical ventilation in the form of blowers, exhaust fans, air conditioning systems, etc. The minimum height of the ceiling of any basement shall be 0.9 meter and the maximum 1.2 meter above the average surrounding ground level. Adequate arrangements shall be made such that surface drainage does not enter the basement, the walls and floors of the basement shall be watertight and be so designed that the effects of the surrounding soil and moisture, if any, are taken into account in design and adequate damp proofing. Treatment is given, and the access to the basement shall be separate from the main and alternative staircase providing access and exit from higher floors. Where the staircase is continuous in the case of buildings served by more than one staircase, the same shall be of enclosed type serving as a fire separation from the basement floor and higher floors. Open ramps shall be permitted if they are constructed within the building line subject to the provision of We will now see requirements of chimneys. The chimneys shall be built at least 0.9 meter above flat roofs, provided the top of the chimneys is not below the top of the adjacent parapet wall. In the case of sloping roofs, the chimney top shall not be less than 0.6 meter above the ridge of the roof in which the chimney penetrates. We will now see requirements of parapet. Parapet walls and handrails provided on the edges of roof terraces, balcony, veranda, etc. shall not be less than 1.0 meter and not more than 1.2 meter in height from the finished floor level. Thank you so much for viewing this video. For more video on civil engineering subscribe my channel. Civil Engineering Basics